Hi, I'm Jim and I'm here with uh, Living Chef and today we're going to do some um, coles homemade coleslaw with um, homemade potato chips and potato crusted pollock. So let's get started. First of all, I, I do ready today started chopping up some whole, um, cabbage. I'm going to go ahead and slice the rest of that up. This is our mixing bowl here. So just grab a knife and chop the rest of this up and put it. So we're just taking our green cabbage and just chopping it nice and fine, make it nice and fine, shredding it up like so. Put it in our mixing bowl. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and now prepare the dressing. Add the mixing bowl. We got three quarters cup of mayonnaise. Two tablespoons of sour cream. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to put our sour cream in there. That was the mayonnaise. Two tablespoons. And then we have two tablespoons of onions chopped. And one carrot, I grated earlier this afternoon. I just use a carrot peeler and then I dice it up with a knife. We're going to go ahead and put that in the green. Same thing with the onion. And then we have dried mustard seed, two tablespoons. We're going to go ahead and put that in the mix now. Two tablespoons of celery salt. Two tablespoons of white vinegar, and that is our basic our, our dressing. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that together now, real quick in our bowl here. Just mix it nice and good there. Spill on the table. So we have our mixing bowl here, and we're just gonna put our dressing right in with our cabbage and our carrots and onions. And we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to mix that in. Now it might feel a little dry, but after it sits a little while, it's going to get a little, a little um, moisture will come out of, the, out of the cabbage once it sits for a little bit. So we're going to set it back in the fridge. And it's okay that it looks a little dry, like I said, because after it sits about 10, 15 minutes, it will get the moisture come back out of that cabbage. Next, we're just going to go ahead and make a little tartar sauce. Just a little um, real mayonnaise I like to use, a little sweet relish, and a little lemon juice. Just take our mixing bowl. Don't have no measurement for this. We're just gonna kind of just put some in there and just kind of go with it. Like so. Dump some of our relish in there. Kind of a basic tartar sauce. I like to put a little lemon juice in mine, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of drops of lemon juice. Put this stuff away. So that is, mix that together, and that's our tartar sauce. So we have that made. Set that aside. Now for the homemade potato chips. Let's get a mandolin. Put 
take a whole potato. I'm just going to slice it. There we go. Now we're slicing. Nice thin potatoes. So we're just kind of slicing nice and thin. We're going to set that aside. We have a pre uh, fryer preheated to 350 degrees. We're just going to go ahead and take the basket. Grease is preheated. Set the potatoes in the basket before we drop the basket. Maybe take a spoon just to move them around a little bit. Just let them fry for a couple minutes. I got a bowl ready with some paper towel on it to absorb some of the grease once it's done frying. So just let those fry for a few minutes. This is what we're looking for. It's starting to get a little dark, and so we want to pull this out. Put some of the grease drying out. We're going to go ahead and dump it right here. Just let them dry and cool a little bit. To season them, we're just going to do a little salt and pepper. A little garlic salt. So that's what we're kind of going for right there. We're going to make some breadcrumbs to do the fish in. What I like to do is just take a little food processor like so. And plug it in over here. We're just going to do some chips in there. I have pre done some earlier today. So we're just going to do a little more to show you how to do it. Just put some potato chips in there. I like to put some bread in there also because it kind of helps hold everything together. And also make sure the fish don't taste really salty. So we'll go ahead and put some bread in there also. Let's turn it on. That's kind of what we're going for right there. Like I said earlier today, I already made some. So I'm just going to add that to what I made earlier today. So now we got our breadcrumbs. Earlier today, I also made some egg wash. We're going to go ahead and take some egg wash out of the fridge. And we're going to go take the fish. I have in the sink. Take some of the fish and I'm going to drudge it in the flour. Like so. Then we're just going to go into the egg wash, make sure it's all the way covered, and into our bread mixture. Okay, I got a plate set over here. I like to just kind of do some of the pieces, get them laid out on a plate, and what we'll do is we'll drop them all at the same time into that fryer. 
We're going to fry them for like four to five minutes. Pull our basket up. Chip hiding here from earlier. Lay our fish in the basket. Probably do four pieces at a time if you have a small deep fryer like this, or three. And just drop it down in. In four or five minutes, they'll turn nice golden brown, start floating, and they'll be done. I'll move this aside while that's cooking, and I'll do a plate to put it in. Fish is doing quite well. A few more minutes. Get some more homemade chips here. Starting to float, turn a nice golden brown, so we're just about ready. This is nice golden brown. We're just going to take our plate and the paper towel to catch some of the grease there. Lay it out. Sometimes I like to break a piece in half, see it's cooked a little bit, which it is. Lay it on our plate. Potato crusted pollock, homemade potato chips, slaw. Quite easy, quite simple, and good. Thank you, and join us next time.